Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we'll see one more concept in discrete mathematics that is Euler's formula. So in our previous session we have seen two concepts that is Euler's path, Euler's circuit and Euler's graph and similarly Hamiltonian path, Hamiltonian circuit and Hamiltonian graph. So Hamiltonian graph or Hamiltonian circuit will be concentrating, concentrating on visiting of each vertex exactly once and coming to the Euler's circuit or Euler's graph that means concentrating on the edges. So have to visit all the edges exactly once. Now we'll see Euler's formula. What is the Euler's formula? A simple concept. So let us see what is that formula. Any connected planar graph any connected planar graph with V vertices and E edges will be having edges minus vertices plus 2 regions regions so this is a formula this is a formula okay so edges minus vertices plus two regions will be there for any connected planar graph see connected planar graph that is the most important because uh, for applying this Euler's formula the graph should be connected and planar so we know that a connected so connected graph means every vertex should be associated with the some other vertex by giving the edge so every vertex should be having some edge towards any other vertices right and similarly planar graph planar graph means so the graph should be there without any edge crossings so there should not be any intersection of edges so if there is any graph in such a way that there are some edge crossings first we have to convert into the planar graph and then we have to check this formula whether edge minus vertices plus 2 is a region or not so before going to the example let us check with the regions so what is this region so a region is similar to the circuit or a cycle that means a closed path right so region means closed circuit or closed path so you know a path and a circuit so which we have seen in our previous sessions if it is a path so if it is a circuit or a closed path the starting vertex and the ending vertex should be same so the closed surface we call it as a region so how many regions h minus vertices plus two regions will be there for any connected planar graphs for any connected planar graph okay so see for example let us take this one so this is a closed surface right closed surface so how we can say start with a a to b b to c c to a so this is a closed surface this is a closed surface so we can say this as a region okay this one as a region and similarly for any graph the outer will also be counted as one region that means outer surface is also one region so inside boundary will be one region and outside is a one region so total how many regions are there here total two regions are there so the outside of the graph will be considered as a one region remember this point okay we have to count it as a region right yes now let us take an example let us take this example
Okay, this is a graph. So first let us check whether it is a connected graph and a planar graph. Obviously we can say it is a planar because no edges are having some intersection, right? So all are in a independently drawn, right? So there is no intersection on edges, edge crosses are not there. Coming to the connected, so A, A is connected with B, D and C, okay? B, B is connected with A, D and C, okay? C is connected with A, D and B, okay? D is connected with A, B, yes. So this is a connected planar graph. This is a connected planar graph. So we have to check whether it is a true, that means a Euler's formula. Number of edges, what are the number of edges here? You can count. So E1, E2, E3, E4, E5 and E6. So total six edges are there. Similarly, vertices. How many vertices are there? One, two, three, four vertices. Now, this is a connected and a planar graph. So, how many regions will be there? According to the Euler's formula, edges 6 minus vertices 4 plus 2. How much we are getting? 6 minus 4. It's a 2, 2 plus 2, 4. So, total 4 regions will be there. Total four regions will be there. Now we have to check whether it is having the four regions or not. Yes. See, this is a region one, this is a region two, and this is a region three. So you can check region one. So A to B, B to D, D to A. And region two. What is the region two? A to D to C to A. And region 3, B to D to C to B. And R4 is an outer region. So as we discussed it just now, for any graph, the outer region will also be considered as a one region, outer surface. So outside, all the outside is also considered as a one region. Okay, so how many regions are there here? Four regions are there. So how much we got? We got also 4. So this is about our Euler's formula. Euler's formula. So let us check with the random. Okay. For example, let us take one edge. Hope you have understood this one. So let us take one edge. So only one edge. Okay. This is a graph. Okay. It may not have some regions, but it is a graph, right? So, how many edges? So, first let us check whether it is a connected. Yes, A is connected to B and B is connected to A. So, there is no vertex without any edges. So, if the graph is also having some C without any edges, okay, so this is called a not connected. This is not a connected graph. Okay, this is not a connected graph because C doesn't have an association towards A or B, right? So, okay, let us consider this one. So, this is a connected graph. What about the planar? Yes, this is also a planar graph because there is no edge crossings. Because only one, one edge is here, there is no edge crossing. Now calculate edges. Number of edges is equal to 1. Number of vertices is equal to 2. And uh, according to Euler's formula, edges minus vertices plus 2 is equal to edges 1 minus 2 plus 2. How much? 1. So it will be having only one region. So what we have uh, what we have discussed just yes, now, any graph, any graph, the outer region will be, I mean, outer surface will, will be considered as a one region. So outer surface of this one can be one region. So we got one. So let us extend this one. Let us extend this one. So I am taking this is one more graph. Now two edges are there and three vertices are there. Two edges, three vertices. This is a connected because there is no vertex without any connection, right? So, planar, yes. So, there are only two edges which are not uh, intersecting, right? Yes. So, number of edges are two, number of vertices are three, then Euler's formula number of regions is equal to edges minus vertices plus two. So, how much you got? 
2 plus 2 4 minus 3 1 one region so only one region outer region outer region let us extend this once again i'll connect with one more line okay i'll connect with the one more line one more edge so this is also a connected planar graph okay a connected planar graph because all the vertices are uh, connected with uh, some other vertices and uh, there are some edges without any intersection so now consider e edges are 3 vertices are 3 so regions is equal to edges minus vertices plus 2 so 3 minus 3 plus 2 so how many regions are there two regions are there so you can consider this as r1 and outer region as r2 so any graph the outer surface will be considered as a r2 so there are two regions yes we got a two regions so for any connected planar graph this formula will be suitable or this formula will be satisfied okay yes now let us take one more example and let us solve it so i'll take a See, let us consider this one. So, how many edges are there? Consider 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 edges. Number of vertices, how many? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 vertices. So, number of regions will be number of edges minus number of vertices plus 2. So, which becomes 8 minus 6 plus 2. So, how much? 4 regions will be there. Okay, four regions will be there. So this will be the one region, this will be the another region, this will be the third region, and the outer region is four. So this is also a connected planar graph. A connected planar graph. Hope you understood this one. Right? So one more example. Let us consider one more example. So just remember this formula so that it will be very easy for you. Remember this formula. So let us take the one more example and we'll wind up. Let us take this example. Okay. So is it connected? Yes. All the vertices, how many vertices? One, two, three, four, five vertices are there. All are connected. So there is no uh, any, there is no other vertex without any edge. Okay, so number of vertices will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 vertices. And it also it is a planar graph because, so there is no edge crossing, that means intersection of edges. So how many edges, we will count the edges, we will write the edges, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So total 6 edges. Now the number of regions will be, we know that the formula edges minus vertices plus 2 so edges minus vertices plus 2 it becomes three regions three regions you can find out so this is a r1 a b c a and this is a one more region d c e d and the outer region is r3 so outer out of this graph is also one region right so euler's formula is one condition the graph should be connected planar then only we can find out the regions that is edge minus vertices plus two regions will be there for that particular graph so this is a simple euler's formula right so i'll stop here and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.